When privacy-preserving protocol Zcash forked off from Bitcoin in 2016, it was the first large-scale commercial use of zero-knowledge proofs. Since then, the team developing Zcash has continued to innovate, pushing the boundaries of computer science and cryptography to improve privacy. Joining us now with more is Zuko Wilcox, founder and CEO of the company leading Zcash development, the Electric Coin Company. Zuko, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. So in May, the much-anticipated NU5 up Grade went live on Zcash. Tell us how it improved privacy and other features of Zcash. Uh, hi there. Thanks for having me. The main thing that the NU5 upgrade did in May was eliminate trusted setup. Uh, trusted setup is this thing. It's complicated. It's uh, technical. Um, but Zcash pioneered the use of zero knowledge proofs at all for anything back in 2016. And back then, you couldn't do zero knowledge proofs efficiently without this thing called trusted setup. But trusted setup is a vulnerability. And uh, this year, we finally figured out how to deploy an upgrade to zero knowledge proofs that eliminate that vulnerability. Um, so that's that's what's important to me. That's We've, we've eliminated a vulnerability, which uh, the rest of the industry will hopefully catch up and also make trusted setup a thing of the past in the coming years. So Zuko, can you explain the trusted setup for the kids at home who are, who, who might be uh, just uh, tuning in and learning about this? Well, it's pretty darn complicated, but it's like this. To do zero knowledge proofs, which no one could ever do at all before we started in 2016 uh, in practical terms, um, you've got to generate like a giant random number, like effectively like a public key, and then you've got to prevent anyone from knowing the accompanying private key, okay? You've got to like generate a public key and then destroy the accompanying private key. Because if anyone has that private key, they can use it to hack and rob everyone else, okay? So it's like it's like a huge, huge vulnerability baked down into this one cryptographic item. And in 2016, when we launched, we pioneered um, probably the probably history's best information security process or or ceremony ever to generate the public key without allowing the private key to ever come into existence. Um, that was the subject of a really good Radio Lab episode, if you're into podcasts. Um, and we were successful at that. We successfully uh, performed a trusted setup operation in 2016, and then we did again with a Zcash upgrade in 2018. And the whole rest of the industry, after they saw that zero knowledge proofs like were practical and safe based on Zcash, um, has started using zero knowledge proofs for all kinds of other things, right? And they've uh, largely stood on the shoulders of the Zcash engineers. And so nowadays, the same kind of trusted setup process in which people get together and they do this ceremony or process to generate the public key in a way that is intended to prevent the private key from being uh, recovered or learned or stolen by anyone. That's that's the current state of the art in the whole crypto industry. Um, and it's, it's definitely not good enough. You know how um, bridges got hacked a lot over the last year um, and hundreds of millions of dollars got stolen? And that's because bridges are a place where everyone's eggs are all in one basket. And so hackers have the incentive to figure out how to hack that one location to extract all the money. Well, trusted setup is even worse than that. Uh, there's, I, I think, I hope I'm wrong. I hope people upgrade before this happens, but with the current state of the art, there is going to come a day when people wake up and not just one smart contract or one set of users, but like every smart contract on an entire blockchain and every user of every smart contract on that blockchain all got hacked simultaneously overnight because of the, the the unique vulnerability of trusted setup, which allows an attacker who successfully exploits it to uh, take advantage of and exploit everyone who relies on that zero knowledge proof system. All right. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. It didn't happen with Zcash. It hasn't happened with anyone else yet. Uh, but the more users and the more money and the longer these things run and scale up, then the more incentive there is for hackers to figure out how to do that, which is what happened with Bridges this year. So, so, so anyway, uh, that's the big news in 2022. Zcash made trusted setup a thing of the past in terms of technology. 
Zcash users will no longer be affected in that horrible dystopian scenario I just laid out. And I want to urge my fellow builders in the industry, pay attention. It's time to upgrade past trusted setup. So speaking of uh, dystopia, uh, uh, Edward Snowden was one of the people who, who was involved in, a tr in the uh, trusted setup and the key ceremony yeah. thing you had going. Uh, yeah. So he, I, and obviously he's, he's hanging out with Putin or whatever he's doing in Moscow. Uh, is he, he still took an oath and in recently got a passport in Russia. I uh, totally don't know what you're talking about and, uh, and would be surprised. I think you're making that up. That's what I'm saying. Was that a joke? Uh, no. <laughs> what? No. That, no. That that's actually recent news. Uh, about him hanging out with Putin. That sounds like oh, a joke. Okay. That's, that's, it's a jo that part's a joke. That, that part's, part's a, joke. a joke. Yes. Maybe. Does that sound know. like the kind of thing that Ed Snowden would do? No. But he is there. He is there, and he and he is sworn to. He is sworn to Russia. So I, you know, I guess the question is: Is he still involved in any way with with Zcash? Uh, I can answer that question. Uh, no, Ed Snowden helped with the initial trusted setup because we needed part of the process to make sure that the secret key couldn't be recovered by any attacker was to get a number of different people and make it so each of them had a part of the secret key and each of them promised to securely delete their part. And Ed Snowden was one of the six people that I recruited to do that because uh, I thought he would not likely get hacked and he would uh, honestly delete his part. Um, but as long as any one of them deleted, any one of the six participants deleted their part, then nobody would ever be able to exploit it. And we, we subsequently have um, on-chain proof that no one ever did exploit it. Uh, Zcash has upgraded past that secret key and there's never been an exploit that would that, stole so, any or counterfeit anyone's money. But let me answer your question. No, that's all he did. He did that uh, for free, voluntarily, like as a public service to help make it so that that thing wouldn't get exploited. Um, and we never had, we never paid him. He never had any kind of relationship or anything else with uh, us. So Z Zcash has also been the target of uh, regulators and, you know, government scrutiny in the United States recently. Um, the SEC took aim at Zcash this year for that. its. Oh, let me interrupt. You. Well, okay. Go the on. SEC took sentence. aim at Zcash this year for its controversial funding model and pre-mine, uh, alleging that the project may be a security. It's also under attack uh, for its popular use uh, to circumvent tornado cash sanctions by the U.S. I wonder if you could. Uh, is is the right to use it under attack? Again, sorry to be picky, but I think you just said a bunch of stuff that's not true, at least not to my knowledge. Um, the uh, the only thing what part is not that, true, and that the SEC has taken aim at Zcash for a pre mine, which Zcash didn't have, and the SEC has never said anything about that, to my knowledge. Um, if you know something I don't, you can spill it. Well, they're <laughs> um, alleging that it may be security, and this is happening with many uh, cryptocurrencies. Right. So there's all these public statements from the SEC, uh, some of which I guess are contradictory, like either Bitcoin's the only thing that's not a security or Bitcoin and Ether are the only things that are not a security or there's five things that are not a security, but everything else is security or whatever. Uh, the only thing that I know about um, the SEC and Zcash is that there's this back and forth with Grayscale, which is an SEC regulated U.S. company, um, and they're doing a bunch of filings because they have a product, financial product that's based on Zcash. Um, and I think people may be over interpreting that. I, I read the little like Delta that you guys discovered in Coindesk uh, magazine about the back and forth. And um, I want to point out that Grayscale has nothing to do with my company that is one of the Zcash engineering companies or the other organizations and companies that support Zcash in different ways. And if you look at the other SEC regulated companies in the United States, like Coinbase, Gemini, Kraken, Finance US, et cetera, uh, they're all continuing to support Zcash. And in many cases, actually doubling down and supporting Zcash more and more. So honestly, I don't know much more. I my company has never had any kind of contact from the SEC enforcement division. There's no, uh, all I know is that thing that you guys published in Coindesk about this back and forth between Grayscale and SEC. And based on 
like public statements, I would say it's not any more murky and confused than the SEC is about everything else either. 